Hey guys, I'm Dr. Kate Adams from Bondi Veterinary Hospital. I think maybe we should potentially get the vacuum cleaner out of the way and start again. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dr. Kate Adams from Bondi Veterinary Hospital. And today I actually have my favourite person next to me, Holly, who has recently got herself a spoodle. Cute. His name is Walter. And you can actually follow Walter on Instagram at Walter the Spoodle. Is there an underscore in there? There are all underscores. Walter, Walter underscore, underscore the there. Spoodle. Okay. Anyway, you got it right. So the reason I thought I'd actually have a chat to Holly was because one of the questions that Holly came and said to me before she got Walter was, what sort of pup should I get? And in fact, actually, I remember Holly coming to me and saying, I'm thinking about getting a Kelpie. And I was like, no, no, why would you do this? So Holly, just to give you some background, lives in the middle of Sydney, eastern suburbs, Yes, she has a backyard, but she's in the middle of Sydney still. Her suggestion of getting a Kelpie was really not ideal. But the point is, is that what I do see quite often is people get dogs that don't really suit their lifestyle and they get them because they think they're kind of a cute dog. I actually suggested to Holly an oodle of some sort because I'm such a massive fan of quite a few of the little oodles. So that can be a moodle and spoodles and Cavoodles because they're all pretty cool. They all have a good mix um, and they've all got absolutely fabulous temperaments. Holly, why did you actually end up settling on a spoodle? Um, I, my family have had cocker spaniels before mm -hmm. and so I really liked the temperament of a cocker spaniel and so I thought um, I'd go with a spoodle over a cavoodle because I was tossing up between the two. But yeah, I really liked um, your suggestion of getting an oodle or something similar because there'd be a little bit better in like my mm -hmm. lifestyle mm -hmm. and so yeah I started looking at cavoodles and spoodles because they'd be still little enough to be able to manage mm -hmm. and yeah I went with a spoodle. So just to give you some idea spoodles in particular are actually a cocker spaniel cross with a poodle. Walter is actually a special little one because he's actually got a little bit more Cocker Spaniel in him than what he does Poodle. So what that basically means is that Walter, unlike most Poodles, actually molts. That means he actually puts fur all over your house versus quite a lot of the others where they have more Poodle in them than what they do Cocker Spaniel, which means then that essentially that they don't molt and they're, they're essentially hypoallergenic. So that's a real draw card for quite a lot of people. Um, Walter came with a discount because he was um, a shedder. But the advantage of Walter is that he is super cute <laughs> and he's off. He gets restless. He's only 12 weeks. He's coming back now. Sit. Sit. These guys are really intelligent dogs. They make great family pets. They're really great for, for people who don't actually have a great deal of space. Um, they're really easy to train. They're food motivated and they are really fun. So. I reckon actually, I'm, I think the Spoodle is pretty underrated when it comes to dog breeds. Mm. So if you're looking, these guys get to around between about eight to 14 kilos. So kind of a medium sized dog. Definitely highly recommend the Spoodle. And in fact, actually, I would actually say that I recommend the, the Oodles in general because they do make such great pets. So instead of actually just going out and getting yourself a Kelpie, when you leave, have no backyard, you need to consider what kind of lifestyle that you have before you purchase your dog. And don't just purchase your dog just based on looks. You really need to have a think about how much you run, how much you exercise, you know, have you got five children? Do you have enough space? Do you have enough time? And all of those types of things. So Holly, as a new puppy owner, do you think that there's something like you have, wish you had it known before you actually got Walter? Walter's just been like an absolute nut bag here yeah. in the background. Um, I guess I didn't realise how much it was similar to having a child because he kept me up for the first kind of month that I had him. Right. Every couple of hours we'd wake up and go to the toilet and all of that. So I had a lot of sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. um, but he's sleeping through the night now, which is very good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, knowing I guess a little bit more of the initial training I was a bit naive about I guess mm -hmm. and I probably should do a bit more research. And I think probably it's a good point that um, I think actually lots of people underestimate the amount of work that a puppy is. Yeah. Puppies are really hard work and it's a really big disaster when I see someone, you know, like eight months pregnant and they're like, like, we got a puppy! <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's bad. Do not do that. 
so they, they are like small children yeah. and they do take so much work. You're at puppy school at the moment. Yes. You're up to week two. Yeah, week two of puppy school. And he's going well. He's, I mean, he's still, he's a pretty good dog to begin with. He knew um, a lot of like things before we went to puppy school, like sit and stay and know and things oh. like that. And so we've actually just had like a very small thing. <laughs> He's not completely toilet trained yet, obviously. We're only up to week two of puppy school. Yeah. So we still... <laughs> oh dear. Dog. So training 101, like toilet training. <laughs> that was just perfect. <laughs> yeah, so I guess knowing those things before you start, knowing how much work they are is... Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah definitely something you should... People should know before mm -hmm. they just go out and get a puppy. So we're saying goodbye to Walter. As I mentioned, Spoodles are such great little breeds. Consider what kind of puppy that you want to get in terms of your lifestyle before you actually buy one and know that they are a lot of work. Yeah. Walter, lovely to meet you. In fact, we've met him quite a few times because I'm actually his vet. I'm going to be seeing Walter again in about two weeks now yep. for his last vaccination. Yeah. By that stage, he is actually going to have completed puppy school. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually check in with Holly again in two weeks time and we're going to see how far Walter has come in his little puppy journey. Hopefully he doesn't wee on the floor next time. <laughs> see you guys. Great. Bye.